that nobody knows is like the meaning does resonate with me about what I said. That I feel like I was destined to fail. I'm in orange Hey, my name's Cooper. My name's Matt. And we run a streetwear brand called Ill Faded in Adelaide, South Australia. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I got my first skateboard when I was like, probably 10 or 11, I think. And then from there, I just did it more and more and more. And then it just ended up sort of right, I guess. Mm. I started skating probably in 2018, right before I started the brand and since then, just stuck at it and made sure that I've been more about it now that I'm running the brand also. Skate park, man. Skate yeah, park, we met at the skate, skate park. park. But it also turns out as well that our parents knew each other way like before we were born and whatnot. Right so we actually probably would have met when we were like two or three years old and didn't realise until then we were at the skate park and talking about it. And we're like, oh, you know so and so and it just turns out we've always kind of yeah. been connected like that. And now here we are. Yeah. Since I was young, I've always been creative and always wanted to tap into something that I can, say, utilise that in. And then it wasn't until I found out about streetwear brands, skatewear brands and, and graphic design as a whole that I could, um, say, use that to my advantage and, say, make the best out of both worlds for it. Just recently we uh, we had the opportunity to, to do our own stall because we got invited to the Festival Plaza which has recently just been finished up and been built up in, just in city um, next to the Festival Theatre um, and that was a really cool setup and it was a great opportunity to have as well. It's sure. definitely like a different experience selling a product to a person in front of them compared to them being online and buying it from your online store so it's definitely the same experience that we enjoyed and are keen to further more in our career. So. Yeah. There's a big list of things that you want to make, and that's just being creative yeah. as it is, but it, it, it comes down to being able to actually make that happen. Like, you can have the biggest list, but if you can't find the people that want to make it to the quality that yeah. you want to make it, then you're probably not going to bother. I feel it's become a lot more important lately now that everyone in Adelaide is doing their own thing creative-wise, yeah. if it's music, um, say brands. I kind of feel like six, six months ago, no, yeah, there wasn't a few, really that. Yeah, a few years ago yeah. even, I feel like the mindset was like, if you want to be involved with something serious, you kind of had to maybe move to Melbourne or yeah. move into state. Because yeah. it's like, obviously I want everyone to, to open their creative side and start their own ventures and businesses, but it is definitely a very tedious and a hard process. I feel like everyone has to have the mindset and be committed. Mm. In saying that though, everyone can be committed and do what they want to do. I just feel like people don't give themselves enough credit most of the time and think that they can achieve these yeah. accomplishments. Yeah. Personally, I feel the meaning resonates with me a bit. Um, as growing up, I always felt like I was 
kind of destined to fail by doing what my parents wanted me to do and what school wants you to do and do this standard tradie job. So when I was deciding on the name, as I came to find out the meaning, I just felt like it meant a bit to me and resonated with me so I could prove against that and uh, do the opposite from everyone else. Yeah, but... Damn.